Hey everyone, in today's video I want to talk about the title commitment and the title policy, the title insurance policy. So uh, if you're reading my blog on dctitleguide.com, there's a story I mentioned I had a closing on a transaction uh, maybe about a month ago where the buyer wanted to set up uh, an agreement uh, with a builder. He bought a home and he wanted to have an agreement with the builder that they weren't going to build a similar sized home because his, where, where his property line was, he wanted to make sure the builder wasn't going to be building a similar size house because he thought the house would be too close to his property line. Probably some due diligence he should have done up front, but it was the day of closing and it was what it was. So the buyer uh, got with a real estate attorney who helped draft up the agreement and the attorney said, hey, do you want me to look at your title policy? Okay, well the title policy is not issued to the buyer until after closing. So what they were gonna be looking at was not the policy. I wasn't at the closing. Uh, so what happened was the real estate attorney took a look at the title commitment, right? The, the preliminary title report that we had sent out and was marking up different things on it. And the buyer, not knowing what was going on, got really concerned and conveyed to the realtor, who also wasn't really sure, uh, that they felt that the title company, us, wasn't providing them proper insurance, uh, title insurance, and that for whatever reason they were being, you know, maybe maybe taken taken for granted. So the realtor came to me and had a lot of questions, of course, in which we sat down with her and explained to her uh, what the title commitment was, what the title policy was, and I thought, hmm, what a great idea to post a video and write a blog to help other agents and other buyers out there kind of understand the difference between the title commitment and the title policy. So. When a purchase contract comes in to a title company like Stewart, okay, we have to order a preliminary title report. We do all the background information on the property. Okay, so that commitment is then divided up into four schedules, schedule A, B, C, and D um, on the commitment. The commitment is us committing to insure, meaning we're basically committing to issue a title policy at closing, right, an insurance policy. Okay, so Schedule A basically covers basic information, right? Title, the person's name, uh, the policy amount, uh, make sure that everything is recorded correctly previously and everything, because when it's gonna be transferred that it still is the same uh, and it is correct. Schedule B contains a pre-printed list of exceptions that the uh, title policy may or may not cover, okay? And I think these pre-printed exceptions was what the attorney was crossing out and the buyer was kind of you know freaking out about that. Uh, Schedule C is kind of the heart and soul of the title commitment. Uh, it makes sure that all the requirements from the other schedules and that other liens or judgments and the payoff, everything is ordered, and all the liens and judgments that are possibly on there are removed, right? So when title is transferred, that that owner, new owner, does not not incur those or have those <coughs> liens or judgments uh, stay with the property in them. Okay, so all this stuff has to be satisfied before we can actually get to closing. Okay, so if these things aren't satisfied, we can't close the transaction, and we're definitely not going to insure, uh, provide, I mean, send out or provide a title insurance policy to the buyer. Not going to do it. Okay, Schedule D, it discloses a total policy premium, like how much does it cost, right? How much are they paying for this? Along with an explanation of how the premium is divided up, meaning like how, so there's a title examination fee, there's an underwriting fee. All those fees are divided up and you can kind of see how that's split, Schedule D, right? So once all of the schedules are satisfied and all the liens and judgments are done and we can make sure that they are not transferring uh, to the new owner, once all of that is satisfy the, the title insurance underwriters who work for the company like Stewart, then say we can go to closing and we provide the buyer after closing a title insurance policy uh, that protects them, okay? Protects them for the liens or judgments, uh, things that are recorded incorrectly, frauds, uh, forgery, uh, you know, if they have a survey, if there's a survey was done incorrectly, uh, a variance of other things but that's essentially what we do. So keep in mind that when you send a transaction to a title company or title insurance company like Stuart, I mean, we are insuring a risk. Uh, you know, and the underwriters can choose, you know, what to insure or not, but all of these things have to be completed before we can even get to closing. So once we sat down with our client and explained to them what this was, how this works, and how we get through the commitment 
to, uh, uh, to actually issuing a policy that is underwritten and satisfied by the company. She was completely uh, uh, helped. I mean, she was, she was definitely happy that we did it. And uh, she now understands kind of what she's looking at. So if you're a real estate agent and you don't understand the title commitment, uh, you know, reach out to you, the title company that you use. Hopefully it's Stewart. So if you're in the Washington DC, Northern Virginia area, definitely talk to me um, if you have a question. Uh, and we can definitely answer those for you and get you to an attorney if need be to uh, clarify them even more. So, you know, if you're looking for a new title company, someone who gives back, helps you with your business, grows it through offline marketing and online marketing like video, like WordPress, like farming, like social media marketing, I can help you do that. So I'm Wade Vandermullen. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing for Stewart Title in the Northern Virginia, Washington, D.C. area. Thank you for watching my video. If you haven't taken a moment to subscribe to my channel, do so because I post content all the time. And if you're on my website, you can also subscribe to my blog in the top right hand corner. Comments are appreciated and I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was helpful to you and your future clients.